Hi, I'm Will from Tested. I'm Adam from Tested. Adam, we're in your kitchen today. This, this is my house kitchen, yes. Yes, this is your home. There, There is stuff around us. We've talked about food a lot on Still Untitled. Well, we talked about omelets a couple weeks ago, mm -hmm. and I described my method for cooking an omelet, uh, just homegrown and figured out on the fly, and yeah. I figured it was time to show how... It, cooking is like one of my favorite things. We do it in this house all the time. Well, it's, it's important. It's yeah. important that people know how to take ingredients and turn them into food. Yes. Um, <laughs> So let's, I mean, let's just jump right into it and okay. let's talk about what we're going to make and uh, we'll turn around and come over here and prep. Yes. Okay, Adam, let's talk about ingredients. Okay. You, you have eggs. I have eggs. Are it's, they special eggs? They're, yeah, I, I live around the corner from Buy Right. Uh, and so I buy the eggs. They give you many grades of eggs that you can purchase. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, and honestly, when you start to look into how chickens are produced, like their beaks get clipped and their wings get clipped and they get chained to the ground, they get put into hard labor, whatever it is. Yeah. And on the chart at buy right, there's like this way at the bottom is chickens that look like chickens live like you imagine chickens should live and lay eggs in a happy pasture. Those are the eggs that we buy. So it's a chicken with a big smiley face. Yeah, exactly. Okay, very good. Um, so how many eggs are you going to start with? Two. I two. Need just two. Just two eggs. I, I, one of the things I don't like about omelets in restaurants is that, um, whoa, look at oh, that. Oh, double yolk. A double yolk. Now, what do you do here? I have no idea. <laughs> the whole system's broken down. <laughs> look at Maybe. that. That's totally remarkable. All right, so, uh, oh, Jesus. Apparently, cracking eggs is something I'm not very good at. Um, so I, I don't like big, thick, meaty omelets. You like a thin I layer like of really, egg. I like it really nice and thin. And I, I, uh, I don't like it with a ton of stuff inside, so I go very light on that too. Okay, so you're, you're, it's almost like a crepe made of eggs. It might be. I, it looks like an omelet when I'm done. It's just okay. thinner than most. And you're just using a fork, no whisk, nothing fancy. I, I have used a whisk before. I haven't noticed a huge difference for me in how much I like to whip with a fork and a whisk. Okay. Um, there might be one, but I don't know about it. So what are you looking for here on consistency? You're looking for um, bubbles on the edge? I, I'm, I figure I'm beating a little air into it to make it a little bit lighter. Okay. Um, and when I'm cooking omelets, like when I'm cooking breakfast for a bunch of people, I actually do line up all the bowls of eggs that pre-beat and I line up all the ingredients and I just start production lining them. It's just, exactly. really fun. Yeah. Um, all right, so that's almost ready. Um, anything special? You do, you're not putting any milk or anything like that in the eggs. It's just eggs. Just eggs. Very good. Avocado, um, a nice ripe avocado, some jalapeno that I've chopped up and I've removed as much white stuff as I could. This jalapeno was quite spicy, mm -hmm. so I removed a bunch of the white stuff I'm not going to use. And when you uh, take the ribs out and the seeds, then it, it yeah. becomes less spicy. It does. Okay. But this one's still quite spicy. Uh, and then this cheese, Appalachian cheese, which is just Fantastic. It tastes like farmer's cheese, is Tastes what I would have yeah. called it when I was a kid. Yeah, and you know, anything works. I've used Jack, I've used Gruyere, I've used whatever's in the fridge. Okay. Um, anything? Okay, and then we have a couple other things. Uh, cayenne. Cayenne. Just a little and cayenne at the pepper, end. yeah. And then um, this stuff, which is available everywhere in the mission buffalo salsa chipotle, and it's. I love this stuff. It's like it's, Mexican grocery. You go yeah. and it'll be on the wall of spice of, of sauces. And it's like 99 cents. Fantastic. Okay, so let's get started. Okay. Uh, you have some butter back there. You're going to... I do. Assume. Gonna, that's a little more than I want, so... So it looks like about, uh, you know, say two-thirds of a tablespoon. Oh, let's... Pick burner two. So I think the thing that I, the problem that I had when I was first making omelets is that I was, the flame was too low or too high. And it took me a while to find the kind of balance for me. And this is a medium high. Okay. Um, um, so you're, it looks like you're coating the pan pretty well. Yeah. Um, letting the butter all the way on. It's going to foam up a little bit, I guess. It is. But now I'm pretty much ready to start. So okay. here we go. Just and this is in. the thing that I just saw on the Bourdain thing. It's like in the cookbooks, it says lift up the sides and let egg run underneath. It sounds like a kind of a dainty procedure. But... Oh, yeah, so I've started a little early, so the pan's still a little Not cool. Not quite hot enough. Um, but, you know, I was watching the chef in the background. He was just doing this, almost like beating the hell out of it. And, handling yeah, and that totally gave me a different way of thinking about it, and it makes this whole process much faster. So now, uh, just a little bit. Now I think I'm ready. And so it looks like you're waiting until the, the eggs are probably half cooked? Until they don't, time. until it, it doesn't move a ton. They're still wet in the middle, and I, that's, I, that's on purpose. I like the middle of the omelet to be wet. Um, I don't want it to be too dry. And, and not, not too much cheese. Like, people no. put too much cheese, too much meat in their omelets. Everyone puts too much meat in their omelets. It drives me crazy. 
So then, uh, and this is born, this, uh, I put in these thin slices of avocado instead of chunks. And this was born out of me forgetting to slice an avocado before I was making an omelet. So it's almost like little scoops. It is, but they, it works really nicely because they blend in with the egg much better rather mm -hmm. than being these chunky difference in texture. Um, I'll with that. And then, okay, here we go. Sauce before or after? What's that? Sauce after? After. Oh, okay. There we go. See how I move oh, my whole body? Yeah, you, you, that's there? a yeah. complete, it's a full atom bounce. Yeah. It, for some reason, that's the only way I can do it. It's, it's, it's a <laughs> level of infectious enthusiasm. I didn't notice I did that until a house guest said it, but it turns out to be. And you've got the outside just nice and uh, just really light brown. I wish I didn't get it brown. I like them when they're not. Oh, you like, okay. That's, that's something I don't know how to control very well. Um, There's little bits of egg flying everywhere. So oh, now this is oh, pretty plate. much ready. Now, I also warm my plates before serving them. So um, for eggs, it's always good to do one plate. And then I finish with some more scoops of avocado. Okay. Um, just a few as a extra. I just love just avocado. Just a bite or two. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then a little bit of the buffalo. Like this. Just a... Just, just a little sauce. There we go. Okay, sounds good, looks good. And that's it, now. So I guess we should have somebody taste it and see how you did. Yes, we should. Uh, nice segue, because now it's time for the reveal. Um, this is Tracy Dujardin, my friend, and she is going to try this omelet with me. You have to try it with me. I will, <laughs> totally, totally. <laughs> oh, I took too big a bite. That's... No dinky bites here. I like it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Good. Really good. <laughs> I love that hot sauce. Yeah. I love the jalapenos. Those jalapenos are spicy. They are. They're, yeah. They, I, I, I got it from the video from, of you where you said they're all different. And I was like, oh, what a relief. Oh, yeah. They're you, have all to taste, you have to taste every one. I mean, when I'm doing salsas, I always taste the peppers before I use them. I didn't know yeah. that until I watched mm -hmm. your video. And then I was like, yeah. okay, so I tasted this one mm -hmm. and that judged how much I was going to use. The cheese is great. It melts really nicely in there. It gives a nice texture inside. It kind of holds the whole thing together. And it doesn't require a lot. Just no. that tiny amount mm -hmm. that I use. That's what I love yeah. about this. Looks great. Very nice. <laughs> now, I, I, obviously, I have a lot of questions because I I have no formal training at this, just a lot of you know information in the world. Um, tell me tell me what you think about what I was doing and some of the questions I might have. Well, made. maybe I should just show you. Okay. Perfect. By all means. Yeah. I'm gonna have another bite. Okay. All right, Tracy. So where are we starting? Well, we're gonna start with the eggs. Okay. Um, I love duck eggs, particularly fried eggs. I love duck eggs. I yeah. actually have never made an omelet with them, so this is a first uh, go on this. Okay. Um, so we're going to see how that, that works out. And, and you told me before, omelets aren't your thing. No, omelets are definitely not my thing. Brunch is like a dirty word in my world. <laughs> so I don't, um, I've never really cooked a brunch, so I've never done omelets like on a repetitious basis like everything else I've done cooking. Okay. So they're not my area of expertise. But, but still you can give me some instruction as to... Some yeah, of the I'm, questions well, I yeah, I'm super picky about how eggs are cooked in general. So I'll, uh, you know, as we walk through this, I'll, I'll let you know what my little idiosyncrasies are. Please, all okay. right. Okay, I, I've got these great duck eggs here, and um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna use three of them. It's okay. gonna be a hefty omelet. We'll see if you uh, take objection to uh, <laughs> the heft of it or not. I don't think I've ever had duck eggs before. Oh, just wait. <laughs> I mean, this looks like the same size as a chicken egg, pretty it much. It does. So, extra large, yeah. yeah. Okay, so uh, I use a whisk, um, you know, for no reason other than it's a little bit more efficient than a fork. Mm -hmm. um, I like the eggs really well emulsified. Uh, you don't want little bits of uh, striated egg white in the finished product, so nice homogenous before we start. Is that, is that because of the duck egg or is that just in general? That's just in general. Okay. You know, I don't like to see the little bits of white in there in the finished product. Uh, I don't salt it before, which most things, you know, I would season before. Um, eggs break down really quickly, so yeah. you put the salt in there, it kind of messes with them. Um, I like a good amount of butter. Um, That's the restaurant, right? Yeah, butter. <laughs> butter makes everything better. Yeah, that, is a, that is a good amount of butter. Yeah, that's a good amount of butter. So what I'm looking for here um, is more like the slow cook scramble, mm -hmm. a more homogenized in product so that you don't sort of have those kind of hard cooked bits in there. Right. Um, I'm with you on the browning thing. Um, I will do my very best to not brown this egg. Um, I, don't, I don't like the flavor of, of the brown 
browned egg. I find it's it's hit or miss for me. Sometimes I'll do three in a row where they're all perfect and no browning at all. But if I like lapse my attention for a second, yeah, it's just controlling your temperature. And, and again, you know. it'll go really quickly, right? If yeah. you start to go, yeah. if you start to get too hot. Yep, that's, that's exactly right. So. I'm not really, you know, this this is going to kind of, the butter will sort of melt in there, so it doesn't necessarily have to all be melted by the time you start. It will, so it'll work, because I'm going to work these a little bit more, um, right. like the like the slow, slow cook to scramble. So you kind of incorporate the butter and Yeah, the exactly. Yep. Nice. And I keep those edges really s nice and clean, put my salt in now. And as far as toppings go, I, you know, I don't use cheese, I'm sort of a purist. I go with uh, French fiends herb. Uh, which is a mixture of chives, uh, parsley, um, chervil, and tarragon. So you're, what you're doing now looks a lot like the way I do the slow cooked scramble, which is yeah, like stirring so like a risotto. That's kind of what I'm I'm doing, and mm -hmm. then eventually I'm going to let it just kind of set up. So, but, but right now I'm, I am incorporating that cooked egg into that center part, right? Mm -hmm. And you have enough uh, egg to cover the bottom of the pan, more than cover the bottom of the pan. Yeah, say. I mean, it's, you know, I, I think if you're making individual omelets, maybe taking, you know, using a smaller pan, the, um, the I guess it would be a six inch skillet. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, you want to get that surface area. And temperature, you want to control it. You can see it's starting to adhere to the bottom there. Mm -hmm. And I'm still working it back into itself. And you're controlling the temperature also by taking it off the Yeah, burner. just because I don't know your stove that well, so it's easy for me to just pull it off. Mm -hmm. And now I'm gonna let it set. So I've got a good amount of cooked in there, and I'm gonna turn it down to keep it from browning. Okay, so and the browning is not necessarily a function of time as much as temperature. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, relationship definitely. And I'm going to start playing with these little edges here. So you don't get any of the little mm -hmm. lacy filigree? Right, yeah. I'm a little idiosyncratic about that. Those guys fly up all around the kitchen when you, when you flip the omelet, right? <laughs> and I, unfortunately, the one that I made had a ton of them, and I don't usually. Sure, you, it's okay. I swear. It's okay. It's a lot of pressure. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. I've never... I'm used to doing things on camera, but not... <laughs> so it's slowly... Setting yeah, up and you know, and that's where I mean it's sort of like the frittata thing where you just really want to like let it let it go slow. I could mm -hmm. I mean it, it could be going faster than this, but um, I'm I'm gonna err on the side of caution to try and avoid that browning. But that's also a big difference between home cooking and restaurant cooking. Right, like you can take your time at home cooking. Yeah, and you got yeah, we're in such a hurry in the restaurant. Forget it. You can't. You don't really have that. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip my edge there, and then. I'm gonna flip my other edge. Oh, you're doing that. I go the other. I do one of those. Wow, you know, look at that. And I'm gonna kind of hold it together here, and then I'm gonna flip it the whole thing. So this is pretty, as you can see, pretty hefty. It's pretty liquid. Yes. Yeah. Come on. There we go. Okay. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. So I'm gonna let that egg set on the bottom wow. side, and so you don't have any little edges out there at all. I'm gonna let the you know the whole thing kind of set now. So now is there a specific the name for this type of flip as opposed to the half moon flip that I did, or is this? Is I don't like know. A more this French is this is the it? French way of doing right. it. Yeah, exactly. Now all of a sudden I want to try this one. Yeah, I'm I'm much more interested. <laughs> yeah. Another one. This is a lovely omelet. Right. And I'm kind of checking to see what's happening inside feeling. there. Yeah, just making sure. It's not getting too cooked. Right. I can feel. May I? Yeah. Okay. All right. So I think we're good. A little bit of resistance, but not too much. Right. All right. I'm going to clean up those little bits there. And there we go. Oh, wow. Look at wow, that. That looks gorgeous. That's beautiful. Right, you ready? Fantastic. Let's try this out. So I like a little ooze in the center. I mean, you're probably going to get a little bit. I can see it at the edge, but um, you know, it's going to be. I think it'll be pretty. Yeah. See, it's it's got wow. a little bit, but not much mm -hmm. in the middle. Mmm. Wow. 
The texture is totally different. Not only from the cooking, but the duck eggs also super, super creamy. Rich, right? Mm -hmm. The the Frenchy sort of um, it, it's it's super rich without the cheese. I mean, the, mm -hmm. the, the duck well, compensates that. Well, for that. Two tablespoons of butter go a long way. Uh. <laughs> mm. So, what do you think? What are your um, well? Mm. So you don't get any of that browned flavor mm. at all. None of that brown flavor right. at all. And that temperature control is a big deal. Like now, I I. I I was always thinking of it as like I wasn't going fast enough. No, it's all about that. And, and obviously your volume of eggs that mm -hmm. you're dealing with. Um, I mean, that ended up being way bigger than, you know, I would normally make because right. three chicken eggs. Um, but I don't, you know, but what it's is still it? not. This is still way far away from that classic American diner omelet, which has got like, a you know, the head of a, some animal inside. Right. Of it. Exactly. Well, it's, all, it's got too much stuff in it, too. Right. Ham right. and bacon, and peppers like, yeah. and onions. And like yeah. yeah. Watching you take your time is really instructive. Yeah, it's, you know, and I even, you know, I didn't do a perfect flip there. I mean, it's like I don't do this, you know, a hundred times every day. But, yeah. you know, it, you can kind of, it's, the end product looked really beautiful anyway because I could just sort of rework it in the pan and, mm -hmm. and then get it to flip over and let it set. And, well, you know. I, mean, that's, I have to say, not knowing, not, not understanding the eggs the way I figured out how to make an omelet, like I'm always wondering if I'm doing this thing wrong. Like, should I be using a whisk as opposed to a fork? And you're like, no, it doesn't really matter. No. So the texture is really shocking. I'm wondering how much of that is the preparation and how much is the duck egg? I think we should find out. Let's make a chicken, chicken egg omelet. Perfect, Coming let's up. totally do it. All right. I feel like I should put extra butter in for, to compensate for the poor little chickens. <laughs> just, just kind of uh, <laughs> juice the test. <laughs> Really is shocking. I know the thing about restaurants using more butter than you'd ever use in your house, but there it is. That's more butter you know, than I would, I would ever use. I would use that much butter in my house. I, I try to use a lot of butter, but that even that is like I'm like I feel guilty just looking at it. Well, Although, you get really busted when you're doing cooking shows, you know, because it, it's you know it is one of our tricks. But right. You can't, you know, it, it you do it on a camera and you're kind of. Oh, you? really? <laughs> I wonder it tastes so good. But you know, invariably, I mean, I love olive oil-based sauces. But if I put an olive oil-based sauce and a butter sauce side by side, 99% mm -hmm. of the time, people would, would pick the butter sauce. Really? And, and yeah. do you do you ever mix? Like sometimes you have half butter, yeah, half olive oil. Yeah, I do both. Yeah, okay. I mean, butter um, finishing like an olive oil sauce with butter gives it more unctuous sort of fluff mm -hmm. um, and emulsifies the fat a little bit more because of the water content in it. Yeah. So then when you pull it off the heat, what are you, are you just seeing the chunks forming too fast? The yeah, too I'm just fast? slowing it down because I want to try and get sort of, you know, that emulsification happening. Mm -hmm. Like it's fairly homogenous so, before I let it really set up. Okay. Yeah, so I'm kind of letting the pan cool down here because I could hear the, the, the little minute sizzle happening in there, which And you don't I didn't, want that? Uh, no, because that, that's indicating to me, I guess, that it's going to color right. if it's mm -hmm. cooking that fast. You can see a little bit of the, the kind of skin forming up. Right, on exactly. Edges, which I know you don't like. Yeah, well, I keep my little edges really neat, and if it does form, I flick it out of the pan, like Adam did. <laughs> <laughs> it's fascinating how much time you're taking. Like, I always think of. Well, you just don't have to hurry. I mean, right, you know, right. so why do it? Um, this is see, pretty liquidy now. I mean, I'm just kind of compensating for what I'm seeing in the pan. Right. So that side cooked faster, so I took it but off. And I just mean, you know, when you're cooking at home, you often think like, well, I better get the heat right. Mm -hmm. And you don't think that you've got another chance, but you're adjusting it dynamically five right. or six times and moving the pan. I mean, all these different ways of managing the temperature. Yeah. That and you so don't that's necessarily like, give yourself permission to take the time to do. You ought to be in a restaurant kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine. I mean, we're pretty, pretty done there. That's fantastic. Yeah. All right, here All right, we go. Here we go. It's not quite as warm as the others, but this is just chickens. They don't deserve a perfect. Yeah, light. exactly. <laughs> and I got the wrong shape too. This one's a trapezoid. <laughs> All right, taste test here. So you just salted the egg. Any specific kind of salt? I like to finish um, eggs, fried eggs, or an omelet with a little bit of salt with more texture. Mm -hmm. So that's a fleur de sel. It's got a little more bite to it. Um, I love Malden, which is the flaked salt, the like really like lacy, flaky mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. So 
Yep. All right. Uh, All but right. kosher C or whatever if you can't get that. Right. Yeah. I'm gonna taste this little mushy oh, egg. Oh wow. Okay, a whole bunch of it was the cooking method. Right. I mean, I mean your texture is pretty much the same, right? The texture is pretty much exactly the same. Mm -hmm. It's just the the flavor is different. The flavor is not different, as although rich. Although the way of this way of cooking leads to it's a really rich egg. I mean, it's well, there's a, the butter gets incorporated in oh, there, and, right, the butter. and I mean, but you're not seeing any butter like oozing out of it's it. Not so the butter, it's not greasy at all. Right, the butter gets emulsified into the egg, so that's the other thing. I mean, mm. you can put a whole bunch of butter in there if you wanted to. It's, it's fantastic. It's thank, really thank you fantastic. so much. No, I'm yeah. I, I now know more about eggs than I did this morning, and I've eaten more than I have in like a week. So thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> awesome. That's Thanks, awesome. guys. I guess that'll do it for us then, um, and we'll be back with more fantastic news. Bye, guys. Bye. Ha, ha, ha.